We often see with newly diagnosed patients that right after the diagnosis, the family and the friends and the community pour out of the woodwork to offer the support and provide the care and the resources that are needed to get through. And that's all wonderful. But more times than not, the intensity wears off and the support goes away after a time. And as women, for some reason, we think we need to keep the weight of the world on our shoulders. And at the beginning, may think, I'll take care of my own babies. I can find transportation and I can find childcare and I'll cook my own meals and I'll clean my own house and I'll go to chemotherapy and I'll climb the corporate ladder. And then round two of chemotherapy happens. One of the most important things, in my opinion, about Pink Ribbon Girls is the ability that this organization has to meet patients in their hour of need. It's not a predetermined, predescribed time set or time frame of when services can be provided through programs like No Age, No Stage. When the woman realizes that she needs the help, when the services are required, when the support wears away, then that phone call can take place to Pink Ribbon Girls and then this world of resources opens up and it can make the world of difference. If I could look cancer in the eye, I would say, oh, I can't, I'm so sorry. I can't be trusted with my emotions, I'm sorry. If I could look cancer in the eye, I would say that there are organizations like Peak and Ribbon Girls, and there's a network of providers and a community that will fight every step of the way to make sure that hope prevails. And it might not always be hope for a cure, but cancer's days are numbered, whether through a cure or whether through a dignified death. Hope will always be a part of what we fight for.